control and so let's see if you can let's see if you can control I the control cockroach the leg. Like. Okay. Okay. You ready? Okay. You, you can go ahead and pick whichever one you want. Um, eyes closed, eyes open, blinking. Okay, so I know blinking is going to cause tarsus movement, so let's try that. Okay, ready? Uh huh. Excellent. Okay, thanks guys. Looks great. I am Shauna Dorsey. I am the professor for this course, which is our junior level lab. And here where it gets really exciting is they're getting the opportunity to use biological systems. So I'm sure you've seen they're taking physiological inputs from their body, whether that's we've had different voice commands, uh, we had different claps that students are doing, we have different brain waves are recording, and then sending that into a physiological creature, in this case it's a cockroach leg, and seeing the output. Um, one of the biggest applications is in neuroprosthetics. So you can have a patient think about wanting to move his or her prosthetic arm and actually causing that movement, because that's really people um, having to retrain their own brains to be able to think of how to use prosthetic. Uh, once they're hooked up, I think we're going to stick to one leg for now and just test to see whether our accelerometers will uh, result in the desired cockroach leg movement. And then if it does work, then this little guy will light up to show that he's been hit. I think our enthusiasm kind of uh, made us overlook some of the challenges involved in, in a completing the project, but I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. Cockroaches have all of the features that you would want in engineering a system. So it's a limb that can create complex movements based on the signal that you send to the limb. You can create one type of movement with a particular signal and then vary that signal to create an entirely different type of movement. So the flexibility of the movement, and it's also simple enough so that it can be done on a project basis over the course of a half a semester. I would say I've taken off about maybe eight legs. So, and sometimes the legs twitch just as a, just a reaction, which is kind of unsettling, but I'm definitely less squeamish after this lab. <laughs> We try to work as quickly as we can so the cockroach doesn't uh, sn come out of its little anesthetized state. <laughs> then we're just going to put him in a plastic bag and um, put him in the freezer to euthanize him fully. Do they have tears? Do you see cockroach tears ever? I feel them in my heart, but I don't see them. 